Hello friends, I am back again. Shalini, your IELTS expert from Astron Institute of International Studies. So today I am back with few tips for reading a section of IELTS. As I have been getting a lot of inquiries and questions from students regarding the reading section, they are facing a few uh, issues. Uh, so let us start with a few tips on how to ace uh, the reading section in the IELTS exam. Well, first of all, uh, time management is very, very important in the reading section. So you must watch your time. As we all know that you have to finish 40 questions in a span of 60 minutes. So we must allot 20 minutes to one passage and not more than that. Otherwise, you might end up not being able to finish the test. So it's better that we practice mock tests using a timer so that we are able to uh, you know, finish the test in time. That's really important. Secondly, you must develop your speed reading skills. So since time is an issue in uh, uh, IELTS reading, so you must develop speed reading strategies like skimming and scanning. So skimming and scanning are uh, basically use rapid eye movements uh, to in order to find the answers quickly. So skimming is uh, reading the text rapidly in order to get a general impression of the text. Uh, whereas scanning is again uh, using rapid eye movement and quickly reading the text in order to find specific facts such as dates, names, concepts and terminology. Let's move on. We also need to develop uh, our vocabulary in order to understand the IELTS passages uh, uh, in a better way. And like I always tell you, you must read the instructions very, very carefully. So before starting uh, the first passage as well as the second and third, you must read the questions and give answers accordingly. So if it's a one word answer, you should give your answer in one word. Or maybe if it's a two word or three word answer, you have to give your answers according, uh, according to the instructions which are given. Uh, last but not the least, you need to develop skills for different question types. So in IELTS, we have different question types like uh, matching the headings, true, false, not given, fill in the blanks, etc. So whatever problem uh, you're facing in any of the sections, you must uh, do assignments related to that uh, particular question type. For instance, uh, true, false and not given is a problem area for most of the students. So you must practice five or six tests uh, related to true, false and not given so that you're able to excel in that question type. So that's all I have for you today. But definitely I am going to come back very soon with more tips and tricks for IELTS. If you like the video, then please subscribe to our channel and I will see you soon again.